How will the world of the future look like? New technologies will give people never before dreamed of possibilities. Quantum physics is going to play a significant part in this future. A quantum is a physical particle, for example, a photon or light particle. In Innsbruck, scientists are already working on the fundamental parts that will make up the world of tomorrow. At the Institute for Quantum Optics and Quantum Information of the Austrian Academy of Sciences, Ariel Romero Isart is one of them. He is a theoretical physicist and, with his research group, studies how to control quantum systems with magnetic fields and superconductors. What we do is to propose experiments and develop the theory of that experiment. And the goal of these experiments is to uh, try to design situations where we can observe quantum phenomena at much larger scales than what is common. And this has the goal to test quantum mechanics at much larger scales, as well as to develop uh, new possibilities uh, with these microscopic systems in the quantum regime. Laser light has revolutionized the investigation of quantum systems. However, its application has also disadvantages. Oriel wants to overcome these obstacles by developing new theoretical approaches. With quantum physical experiments, it is important to completely cut off the sample, for example, a small atomic cloud from outside environment, and to heavily cool it. Instead of light, Oriel uses magnetic fields and superconductors to levitate a microsphere of only a thousandth of a millimeter in size. And this is, for instance, a proposal that we have been working these last years, how to magnetically levitate a superconducting microsphere, a sphere made of lead, that has one or two micrometers radius, and we levitate them on top of a magnetic chip, and we place it inside a, a very, very cold fridge, and then we bring it to the quantum regime and, and prepare these superpositions. Until now, Scientists have been able to investigate and manipulate only few atoms using quantum physics. Oriel and his colleagues are studying ways to apply it to more particles, to bigger objects. This will lead to more possibilities in research and, ultimately, in engineering. And these systems are so fragile to the environment that they can also be used as sensors to measure very tiny forces at very short distances. We have uh, realized that in diamond, there are some degrees of freedom inside diamond that can be controlled in the quantum regime. And this, uh, uh, these objects are so sensitive that they can measure magnetic field with very, very high precision. And now there are people that are starting to think that we could implant this diamond inside biological cells and use them as sensors for magnetic fields or place them around your brain and use them to measure the magnetic field created by the neurons in the brain. And for instance, and so of course, that's a site application that was not thought of when they started to understand the physics of these uh, degrees of freedom inside diamond. What can be investigated experimentally today and what will be possible in 5, 10 or 15 years? These are the questions Oriel is trying to answer. He is a pioneer and develops theoretical approaches for realizing the experiments of the future.